how to build a unicorn business empire like Ababa. Did you like the title? Thumbnail catchy, na? Right. Yes. Today we are going to talk about building unicorn business like an Indian Baba. So, jitna title interesting hai, aaj ka video bhi utna hi super interesting hone wala hai. And please watch the video completely. I I have researched a lot and I am giving you step by step approach how you can build your unicorn business like a Baba. So watch the video till end. Before we begin the topic, I have just one request. Keep aside your emotions. Do not think right, wrong, good, bad. Whatever your emotional attachments are, spirituality or with some Baba, ke saath, keep those aside and watch this video as a business lesson. Because by keeping those emotions aside, you are going to learn and you are going to build your own business which is going to help you. It's not going to help somebody else. Just by expressing your emotions, it's never going to be helpful. So watch this video till the end. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel where I share various tips, ideas, tips, tutorials related to business development and business growth. So you might have come across various Babas uh, you might have heard about them in news, on videos, how they are building their own business. They don't call it as a business, but they have built it like a business. So that is what we want to learn. We don't want to copy any Baba, but we want to take those business lessons and implement in our own business. How we can create our own business in similar fashion. So this video is going to be super critical if you want to start your business or if you already have a business, this video is going to be super helpful because I have provided step by step uh, my research findings. So let's uh, look at this, some of the businesses uh, who are into various aspects, uh, uh, whether they are it, irrespective of which religion they are pro propagating, but they are very super successful. They have created billions of dollars of business and they have millions of the followers. So that is what we want to learn from them and we want to copy and follow those aspects. So let's get started with the uh, Today's business lessons. Let me share my screen. So we will talk about all the points one by one. So when we come to business lessons, you need to understand dressing like a Baba. So here are almost all the Babas, they are dressing like a Baba. So when it comes to your business, you need to have a unique flavor of a business because your dressing should reflect your business, your thought process, your philosophy, your culture. I'm not saying that you need to always hear some business formals, but you need to have a, a dressing style which reflects or represents your business or your product or services. Somebody, if somebody is into fashion business, they need to wear more trendy clothing. Somebody who is into more formal B2B business, maybe they will require more uh, business suits and attires. So depending on your business and your customers, your product and services, you need to trace like that. Then you need to always have an organizational structure. So what is this organizational structure? All the Babas, they almost have a, a formal structure in most of the cases as a trust, a trust or NGO format. So depending on that, you need to have a business structure, a legal business structure for your business, 
whether it's a proprietorship, whether it's a partner firm, whether it's an LLP, or whether it's a private firm, or whether it's a one person company, you need to have a registered business which you can uh, start with. Because you have, you can see that all the power of 100% of time trying to follow the legal compliance, they don't want to complicate legally to their business. So they always have this uh, legal compliance followed. Then they have a team, a team of uh, people who are dedicated to their work. And they hire all the time this talented people. So you need to also incorporate same practices with your business. How Baba hired a team of special people who are excellent or master in their work. So that's why you need to hire the best people. Then you need to choose the ideology or philosophy because when you see this kind of Baba, they always begin with some kind of research. That research is a very critical part of starting any business. What they do research? They research about the market, they research about the customer, they research about their customer's pain point. And then they start building a brand. So how this brand building process happens is there are always two types of brands. One is the personal brand of the Baba and then the organizational structure. So that organization itself becomes as a brand. So they develop these two brands. I have seen various business owners or business persons, they never focus on building their personal brand. And there are few people, few business persons who never bother to create their organizational or business brand. So you always be, make sure that you build these two types of brand. Personal branding and organizational branding is very critical. Then we have this cult building. So what is this cult building? Cult building is basically building a fan base or follower base. And how do you do that? You need to have a stronghold. Like any, you take any Baba, they have strong uh, knowledge and understanding of their subject or whatever philosophy they are preaching with. Then they always make a point to connect with their audience, whether it's online, offline, whatever the, the aspect or activity is there, they always try to connect with their uh, followers, mainly emotionally. So that is the key point uh, to build a, 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 a hardcore fan base. Because the goal here always is building a trust you know, among your audience. Because if the, your customer does not trust you, they are not going to do business with you. They are not going to do the transactions with you. So then next steps come is the creating this fan following. So how this actually the fan following happens? That fan following starts with the identifying the customer pain point. So you need to understand your customer. You, you will come across the problems which are always like in one of these three, one or more of these three areas. One is the health problems, wealth problems, or relationship problems. People always go to any Baba or they follow that spiritual person with one of these problems. And that Baba helps to solve this problem. You need to also identify with your customer's problem, their pain points, and you need to help them to solve those kind of problems. Then they need, they create a marketing message. They always begin with uh, some kind of social message or some, uh, some uh, problem which is affecting mass at the mass level. Either it's related to health or wealth or relationship, they start with this kind of problems and they provide a message which connect the audience emotionally. So that message has to be emotional and also focused to the 
the pain point or the problem that you want to solve. Then, then begin with the omni-channel one. So what is this omni-channel one? So they, they make a point that their media presence is always uh, there across all the channels, irrespective of level of the Baba, the region, uh, what philosophy they are following. It does not matter. They always take help of media so that they are always in the focus of their target audience. They use offline media. They use online media. So they make sure they have a strategic plan for a global outreach. So if you're uh, not creating or you do not have a uh, fan base or audience, it will be difficult to make this global outreach. They are always use technology. They use social media. They use websites. They use video. They use various technology in their physical way. So technology is a very uh, critical in building and scaling a business. Then they are always associated with some kind of philanthropy or social work. As I mentioned earlier, they start with the, the social problem and they create a, a, a message which is appealing to mass media. So that's why they are always trying to associate with some uh, key philanthropical activity. Then they are attend all the uh, public speaking uh, events because uh, that helps them to reach to their target audience that creates wider reach and that is to at very uh, affordable cost. So that's why they always uh, prefer this kind of public speaking event. They make sure point of networking and collaboration. You must be wondering why the Baba is going to do networking and collaboration. You must have seen uh, that the Baba, they interact with other Babas. Uh, they either have social connection, they have political connection, they have movie or celebrity connection. So these are the uh, kind of uh, connections and collaborations and partnerships they do with uh, other influential people, other person who, who kind of uh, help them to build their brand, make them brand, make their brand uh, identity very stronger because they when they are associated with any business, business person, any political person, any movie star or celebrity, or any other uh, uh, spiritual uh, person, it increases their brand. That's why they always uh, utilize this kind of activity. And this is what you need to do in growing your own business. They always use media to connect with their audience and they keep always do some activity which keeps their fans engaged uh, around the clock, 24 hours. So this media presence they utilize to build their own brand and reputation. So the reputation building is uh, creating an image in your customer's mind. So why that is necessary because uh, they know that there would be some crisis in the future, there will be some issues, some negative thing will happen, somebody will criticize. But they do not worry about criticism, but they prepare for the criticism. They never get stopped by any criticism. So they know that somebody is going to criticize them for their philosophy or some activity because you cannot make everybody happy all the time. I know, like some people might not like this. Somebody might, uh, like, uh, they will get offended when I'm connecting a business and a Baba or a spiritual person. But the true business person, they will always appreciate this video because they know it's this, these learnings are going to help in building their business. So if you're an emotional tune, you will definitely go and dislike this video. But if you're a business person and if you're seriously want to grow your business, you will definitely like this video. So they are preparing for this kind of crisis management and they build that reputation using their media. So that's how their omni-channel marketing works. So 
let's look at the next step how they are grow, actually growing their business. So all the activities done till now is for creating brand following, creating the brand reputation. Then they offer products or services in the form of provision to the pain problem or the point they identified initially. Right? That's why the identification of or understanding of your customer is very critical. So they do this by using their uh, existing or the created uh, distribution channel. And the channels are distributed online and offline. You might have seen uh, the Baba is having some clinic or some offline store, uh, some kind of uh, spiritual uh, ashrams. So these are their physical touch points. They, Baba also have their social media presence. They are present on YouTube, on Facebook, Instagram, right? They have their own website and they have their e-commerce website. So these are, these are the few points the business person always uh, fail to understand and they they ignore the importance of omnicanon presence. So that's why this key uh, distribution channels are very critical, whether it's online or offline. Both the channels are necessary. If you are, if you do not have this kind of distribution network, you need to start working on those uh, kind of network. And they always, always focus and control their cash flow and profit because cash flow and the profits is the soul of any business. If you do not have cash flow and profits in your business, your business is not going to survive. More than 50% of businesses are closing within five years of the starting. So that's why we have created a community of like-minded business owners. So you can join that community, check the link in the comment section or the, uh, the description of this video, apply the coupon code and you will have access to the community for free. And this community is for only for serious healthcare and wellness business owners. If you have an idea in healthcare and wellness business space and you want to start your business, or maybe you already have your existing business and you want to grow that business, I invite you to join this exclusive community of healthcare uh, entrepreneurs. So let's move to the next point. They, one of their uh, key offering is into spiritual knowledge and practice. So, because this is focused on solving the three problems, three key areas, key areas I mentioned earlier, health, wealth, and relationship. So they provide their teaching and guidance. So this, this kind of teaching and guidance are either some residential programs are there, you know, some uh, kind of, uh, they offer some books, or uh, some CDs, DVDs, or the events. So the events happen sometimes online, sometimes offline. The physical or uh, offline events, they might be for one duration, one day duration, two days, three days, five days, ten days. And they have different, depending on the severity of the problem, they offer this kind of event to their uh, followers or fans. So creating this kind of uh, variety of uh, products and services in your business is very critical because if you are working with only one product or service, you might not be able to uh, get the profitability and cash flow in your uh, business. So building this kind of services and physical products is very critical for uh, creating the cash flow and the profits and growing your business. So what are the key learnings uh, that you can take from this video? You can comment below what is that you got from this video. But here is what I uh, I have to tell you. Uh, the core message from this video is that there is no shortcut to hard work. You always have to work towards building your business. Businesses are not built in a day or two. It needs 
patience and persistence to build this kind of building. You might face some kind of criticism. You, uh, somebody will hate you. But you need to be consistent. You need to persistent. You might not be getting results. You need to study yourself. You need to do that introspection. Why my business is not growing? And if you need those kind of guidance and tutorials, I suggest you to subscribe to this channel where I share various tips, tutorials, ideas, resources related to growing your business efficiently. So if you want to build something substantial, then it needs time. Because if you want to build something which is average or mediocre, then you can build something, you can have something which is a very poor quality. You can, you, you don't have to worry about that. But if you want to build something which will create a legacy and which is a, uh, something of massive business, then it will take some time. Those kind of businesses are not built in a day or two. Even if you see those kind of businesses, they have raised, uh, like you can see many startups, they are raising uh, huge amount of funding. They're uh, creating, falsely creating a huge valuation, but the businesses do not have profits. They are into losses. They do not have cash flows. And most of the businesses, there was a, a business in the US which was built in a four year and that valuation was of about uh, 24 billion, 24 billion. But that business is has, has filed for bank, bankruptcy. That that big business has been closed down. So valuation is a uh, uh, fake or a superficial parameter to measure the success of any business. Cash flow and the profits are the one of the tool or key matrix to measure in your business. So if you are not measuring these uh, parameters, you need to start measuring it. And if you are measuring any kind of business parameters of your business success, let me know in the comment section what kind of business parameters that you use to measure the success of your business. Then, uh, one of the key lessons is don't be afraid to do something different. Your product and uh, so, uh, solution or uh, services can be different from the existing because it has it, it does not need to be just different for the sake of being different. It has to solve the problem. Just by being different, it will not uh, help your business. You need to actually solve the customer's pain problem. So that's why you need to come up with some kind of different solution or alternative solution. Because when you have this kind of business, and uh, it is when built with a strong foundational uh, and ethics and values for customer service and customer centricity, then your business will always be uh, growing and thriving. You don't have to worry about your competition. You just have to focus on your customer because when you're focusing on the customer, the competition also uh, starts copying you. So even if they start copying you, you, you when you are unique and you are honest to your uh, customers, those customers will still stay with you. And if some customers are leaving, it's better that you let them go because uh, if those customers are not inclined or not following you, or they do not trust you and they are just going after some other business products or solutions, just for sake of discounts, it's better let you let, this, let them go because you need customers or followers who are your diehard fans. So if you believe uh, that this video has helped you or has given some or other insights, let me know what did you understand from this video and what is that a change that you are going to make in your business. And if you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up uh, because your uh, like will help me uh, to understand that this video was helpful for you. And please do subscribe to this channel uh, 
uh, I help uh, healthcare business owners to build and grow their business. So that's all for now. We'll meet again with another topic interest, which will definitely going to help uh, give you clarity in your healthcare business. So stay tuned till now. Till then, bye bye.